Hello fellow aviators, VRF Simmer here. Welcome to leg 10 of the World Tour. Today we'll be flying between Half Moon Bay, California and Monterey, California, home of some of the top golf courses in the world such as Pebble Beach and Spyglass. But before we head down that way, um, we've got to deal with the issue of the weather here at Half Moon Bay. It is IMC uh, condition weather here and so we will have to pick up our uh, an IFR clearance we're using pilot edge ATC in order to do that but first let's go ahead and get the airplane fired up so we can get underway so we'll pull up the checklist and get rolling here pre-flight inspection in the cockpit aircraft documents are checked parking brake set ignition off hydraulic switches are off battery switch on Fuel quantity indicators are checked at full. Low fuel enunciators are off. Avionics switch uh, switches bus one and two on. Avionics cooling fan audible. Avionics switches off. Static pressure alternate source valve off. The um, enunciator panel test. Fuel selector to both. Fuel shutoff valve open. Flaps down. And once they're down, we'll check the pitot heat. All right, pitot heat on checked working and off battery master switch off. Elevator trim, we'll set that to neutral. There we go, neutral. Pre-flight inspection cockpit complete before starting engine checklist. Pre-flight inspection, let's go outside and take a look at our surroundings here. The aircraft looks good. Uh, looks like we will be turning out uh, to the right as we leave the ramp area. And winds are favoring runway. Winds are currently 160 at 6. So we'll probably be departing runway uh, 1 2 here at Half Moon Bay. So pre-flight inspection is complete. Seatbelt adjusted and locked. Electrical equipment off. Avionic switches are off. Fuel selectors on both. Fuel shutoff valve open. Core starting engine check complete. Starting engine check. Throttle. Open quarter of an inch. Mixture idle cut off. Propeller area clear. Clear prop. Battery master switch on. Beacon to on. Mixture rich. Auxiliary fuel pump on three to five seconds. One, two, three, then off. Mixture to idle cut off or to lean. And then uh, feet, uh, they're holding the brakes, ignition to start. And there we go. Mixture rich when engine starts after starting engine. Throttle adjust to 1000 RPM. Oil pressure is checked. Alternator on. Alternator indicator is off. Ammeter is checked. Charging the battery. Even I switch one and two on. We'll get our lighting on in the cockpit. Radios are on. Transponder to standby. Flaps up. Heading indicator, you get that set, we're showing 105, that's what we're showing on the magnetic compass and heading indicator. So it's all set. Altimeter, we'll need to get that set based on the METAR here, they're showing uh, an altimeter of 29 or 9 or 4 this evening. And the Half Moon Bay ATIS is on 119.25. I'm sorry, that's for Monterey. For Half Moon Bay, it is uh, AWAS is 127.27. So I'll see if it works. Last time I was flying on Pilot Edge, automated weather was not working, but I'll keep trying. 127.275. There we go. Yeah, I don't believe it's working, so. Air elevation's at 66 feet. 
so 2040 there we go 66 feet so it's pretty close 299 or 6 on the meters altimeter set attitude indicator set after starting engine check complete taxi check we'll get the taxi light on we'll go ahead and turn the nav lights on landing light will be turned on on the runway strobes on the runway and we'll release the brake. We'll do all these checks on the turn creator heading indicator and compass as we are taxiing out. So for now, let's uh, let's pull up our let's brief our flight plan here really quickly. So here's our sky vector low and route charts. So we're gonna be taking off out of Half Moon Bay. There is a departure procedure out of here, which I should probably go ahead and show you all. If I can get this to work. Well, it's not going to it's not going to show up. Anyways, there's a departure procedure, obstacle departure procedure on runway 1 2. Climb runway heading to 3000. Then climb direct to the Oscar Sierra India VOR to cross the VOR at or above 3,500 before proceeding on course. So, uh, if we look at the route chart, that is the Woodside VOR. So, we're going to climb on runway heading to 3,000. Our cruising altitude is 7,000, so I'm going to go ahead and set 3,000 here for in our altitude selector for now, just to make sure we get up to that, and then we can turn direct to the Woodside VOR. Also going to tune in the Woodside VOR, might be a good thing, it's a uh, 113 decimal niner. So it looks like we've got that in there. And then our next VR we're going to be going to later on is the Salinas VR down here toward Monterey. We've fallen Victor 25 down there from Woodside. So 117 decimal 3. I'll have that standing by. 17 decimal 3. I put that down here on two. Make sure I can see it. All right, we got that in. Perfect. So we have the entire flight plan here in our GPS. So Half Moon Bay to Woodside. It's Victor 25, which takes us turn this off so y'all can see Victor 25 which takes us uh, Woodside to Sapid to Santi let's see if it could, it'll let me Sapid to Santi to Mover to Salinas and then direct and we'll probably uh, try to pick up one of the approaches down there at that point I did not mean to do that. Okay. Okay, good. We're still good. We have Half Moon Bay there. Okay. And total distance of. Sure, total distance here. Does not. But that all looks correct. Taxiing out of Half Moon Bay. I think so we'll make a right hand turn out and we'll be taking a right on to the taxiway down to runway 12. Runway heading is 122 so I'm going to go ahead and set that in the heading indicator bug here just to make sure we're good to go. It's going to be fairly low visibility. We're right on the ocean so we might have some fog rolling in and out here this evening. And VMC conditions currently at Monterey but slowly becoming IMC. So we'll expect the RNAV on runway 28 left. 
All right, no further questions. We'll go ahead and begin our taxi out here. Common traffic advisory frequency in Half Moon Bay is 122.8. So I'll get that tuned in here. And eight. We'll call up NorCal departure on 135.1 when we're at the end of the runway to get our IFR clearance. Okay. So here we go. We're clear on the right. I have uh, people to the left. Half Moon Bay traffic, Cessna 2 on fire, Vermi Alpha taxiing from the ramp to runway 1 2. Any traffic in the area, please advise Half Moon Bay. All right, turn equator is working, heading indicator is working, the magnetic compass is working, uh, the brakes have been checked, they are working. I'll do a left hand turn too, just to make sure everything looks good. All right. So for our taxi checks, uh, we checked the brakes, rudder was tested, turn creditors checked, heading indicator checked, compass checked, so taxi check complete. We'll do the run-up check at the end of the runway. <laughs> taxiway edge light in the middle of the taxiway up ahead, so we'll get around that. So here we come to the end of the runway. We'll pull up here, we'll do our run up check. Just off to the side here. Alright, parking brake is set, so let's do our run up check. Parking brake set, pilot and passenger seat backs, most upright position, seats, belt secure, flight controls. Check that these are free and correct. They are. Flight instruments set, fuel quantity indicators checked, fuel full, mixture rich, fuel selector both, autopilot engage, flight controls move against autopilot. Autopilot off, 
Throttle set to 1800 RPM. And mag checks. So we'll go over to the right mag first. Back to both. Left mag. Back to both. More than no more than a 150 RPM drop. They're both within 50 RPM, so that check is good. The vacuum gauge is in the green. Oil pressure's checked green. Oil temperature checked green. Ammeters checked. Enunciator panel's clear. And uh, engine idle should go down to 600 to 650 RPM. And we're settling in right about 650. So that's checked. So I'll adjust to 1000 RPM. And run up check complete. Before takeoff check, radios are set, avionics set, nav GPS switch is set, transponders on ALT. We'll go ahead and get that over there. We'll call up traffic control here in a second. Autopilot is off, elevator trim set for takeoff. Flaps zero degrees, cabin windows closed, locked, park and brake, we'll release, we're ready to roll for takeoff. Uh, we'll brief the takeoff in just a second after we get our IFR clearance. Turn off for taxi light while we do this. So 135 decimal one for NorCal departure. Just got my scratch pad ready and I'll write down what we need. NorCal departure, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha on the ground at Half Moon Bay, ready to pick up IFR clearance to Monterey. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, give me a call on 122.2, sir, pretty staticky. Okay, one two two point two. NorCal departure, Cessna two one five, from the Alpha radio check. Loud and clear. NorCal departure, Cessna two one five, from the Alpha on the ground at Half Moon Bay, ready to pick up IFR clearance to Monterey. Cessna two one five, from the Alpha, clear to the Monterey airport. It's filed, maintain seven thousand departure frequency. One three five point one, squawk six two two five, hold for release. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, clear to Monterey as file, climb 7000, departure 135.1, squawk 6225, hold for release, we're ready for departure on 12 when you are. Scott, got six, our correction, Scott, 215, Romeo Alpha, read back, correct, release for departure, uh, the time uh, three, zero three zero nine or and a half, uh, correct foot if not off in five minutes, if not off in five minutes, advise intentions of the one zero minutes from now on this frequency, change to advisory frequency is approved. All right, so that's 205 from Alpha release to report with you within five minutes and change to advisory approved. Okay, uh, <laughs> so 135.1 is our departure. 122 decimal. All right, so we're on our CTAF frequency. We have five minutes to go off the ground. So we're going to fly our way heading to 3,000. Then we're going to turn left to the um, losing the name of the VOR, Woodside VOR. So we'll go ahead and take off. Here we go. Rotate at 55, climb out at 70. Half Moon Bay traffic, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, departing runway 12, will be departing to the southeast. Half Moon Bay. Alright, don't see anybody there. Alright, runway 12 is verified, here we go. Power set, engine instruments look good, airspeed's alive, 55 knots, rotate.
036. Information, I think you said you had information, Mike, and uh, do you have a runway preference? Probably 17 would be best for you. Uh, affirmative, I have Mike, and I'd like 17. I'd expect a visual approach for my 17, and uh, I'll have uh, vectors for you in just a bit. Roger, I'll expect a visual 17, walking 306. Walk 306, gonna maintain 14,000. Down to 14,000, walk 306. Yeah, 1903, contact Albuquerque Center, 134.32. 3432, he's heading 1903, good night. Hawker 3747, single flighting, uh, zero, three, correction, flighting 230, is going to maintain 4,000. Feel that you're 1 o'clock, 1 zero miles, port of flight. Heading 230 to 4,000, we have airport in sight, uh, Hawker 47 Tango. Hawker 3747 Tango, clear visual approach, runway 25 left. Clear visual post, uh, two five left, Hawker, four seven Tango. Yeah, 1903, Turkey Center, climbing same for level three zero zero. Norcal departure, Cessna 215, Remy Alpha is off Half Moon Bay, 2000, climbing 7000 via the uh, runway 12 obstacle DP. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, Norcal departure, squawk out on. Southwest 2406, contact Seattle approach, 125.6. Yeah, LaFerge. Good evening, Southwest. 2406 out of 13,200. Via the Hawk 7 with information, Charlie. So 2406, Seattle approach. Thank you for Charlie. Seattle, altimeter 3018. After Sonder, cleared ILS, runway 34, right approach. 3018, after Sonder, cleared ILS, 34, right approach, Southwest 24. Walk 306, turn right heading 070. Right to 070, walk at 306. Looks like the weather's getting better as we head south and away from the coast. Walk 306, turn right heading 130, just going to maintain 7,000. Right to 130, down to 7,000, walk 306. Walk 306, once you're out, the field will be at your 1 o'clock, 10 miles, port in sight. Roger, I'll be looking, walk 306. Salt Lake City approach, walk 306, uh, airport's in sight. Walk 306, clear visual approach, runway 17, contact Salt Lake City, tower 118.3, see ya. 
Clear visual 17 and 118.3, see ya, walking 326. Salt Lake City Tower, walk at 306, visual 17. Walk 306, Salt Lake City Tower, runway 17, clear to land, wind 3403. Clear to land, runway 17, walk at 306. Looks like the weather's really cleared up quite a bit as we're heading south, south toward Monterey. Yeah, you can see the Monterey Bay up ahead, Monterey out there. Sky 215 Alpha, contact uh, Narcal Approach, 121.3. 1213, 215 Romeo Alpha. Walk 306, left one able text, parking via Kilo, remain the street, we have a great day. 
Parking view kilo, this frequency. Have a great night. Walking through so sick. North Cal Bridge, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha 7000. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha, North Cal Approach, Monterey Altimeter. 2984, advise you of Sierra and City Approach Quest. 2984, and uh, we'll pick up the ATIS standby. Uh, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha. Southwest 2406, contact Seattle Tower, 119.9. Tower 99, good night, Southwest 2406. Seattle Tower, good evening, Southwest 2406, ILS 34 right. Southwest 2406, Seattle Tower, runway 34 right, clear to land, wind 3408. Clear to land, 34 right, Southwest 2406. And North Cal Approach, Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha. We have Sierra, and uh, we'll plan on the visual to 28 left. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha. Roger, quick check Monterey Airport, descend and maintain uh, 5,000. Check Monterey Airport, descend and maintain 5,000. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha. Okay, so 5,000. And direct. Monterey Airport. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Here, let's go back to flight plan. Heading. There we go. We want to direct Monterey. Perfect. And nav. There we go. We're direct Monterey. Direct track is 153. We'll go ahead and turn on our landing lights. And there's 5,000, should be leveling off now. Okay, so down at Monterey Airport, I want to see if this works on Nav 2 yet, or COM 2, let's see. They were saying that on Pilot Edge you could not listen to something on COM 2. I want to give it a shot.
So Adis Monterey is 109.25. So let's see. Yeah, it's still not working. Well, good to know. Southwest 2406 is off on Lima. We're going to gate Bravo 12. Southwest 2406, taxi to the terminal via Bravo, man the tricks to have a good night. To the room via Bravo, good night, Southwest 2406. Scott 2 and 5, Romeo Alpha, to set and maintain 3000. Set and maintain 3000, Scott 2 and 5, Romeo Alpha. Alright, 3000, set, here we go. Autopilot just dives if you hit the down button once. It's crazy. <laughs> Dude.
Sky to inferno me Alpha Monterey Airport, 12 o'clock, 13 miles for the field site. And Scott 205, Romeo Alpha, we're currently IMC at 3000. Alright, Monterey reporting uh, 10 and clear. Uh, advise you of Sierra and you're running live weather. Uh, affirmative, 215, Romeo Alpha. Alright, uh, we'll get to get a little closer and then uh, see what happens, I guess. Alright, sounds like a good plan, thanks. 215, Romeo Alpha. Okay, so live weather was showing, clouds should be clearing up, uh, wonder if you can give us a minimum vectoring altitude. <laughs> Might have to send us out to... Or zero six zero three. Never mind. Maybe I'll just do the ILS to one zero right. Back to five Romeo Alpha, descend and maintain 2,300, that's the lowest I can get you. Descend and maintain 2,300, uh, Cessna 205 Romeo Alpha. Alright, we'll see if we can get the airport in sight here. See if we break out of these clouds. And uh, Monterey, or NorCal approach, Cessna 215 Romeo Alpha, we're still IMC at 2300. We'd like to request the uh, RNAV Yankee 2A left. Cessna 215 Romeo Alpha, Roger, climb maintain uh, 5000. Climb maintain 5000, Scott 215 Romeo Alpha. Back to Empire Romeo Alpha, turn left heading 030, zero, zero. it's for your climb. Left 030, zero, zero. Scott, 215 Romeo Alpha. I'm just going to hand fly this because the autopilot is not going to do a good job. So left to 030. And Scott, Romeo Alpha, are you looking at the RNAV Yankee or Zulu for 2A left? Looking at the uh, RNAV Yankee 215 Romeo Alpha. Back to Infarm Romeo Alpha, I'm going to your altitude, climb maintain 5,100. Uh, say again for 215 Romeo Alpha. Back to Infarm Romeo Alpha, climb and maintain 5,100. Climb and maintain 5,100, 215 Romeo Alpha. Back to Infarm Romeo Alpha, clear direct Salinas, cross Salinas, center above 5,100, clear to Arnav Yankee, runway 2 a left approach. Clear direct Salinas, 
Cross Salinas, at or above 5,100, cleared RNAV Yankee 28 left approach. Cessna 215, Romeo Alpha. Okay, so we need to go direct to Salinas, which is going to be to the south, east. Go ahead and turn there, east. Procedure. Select approach. Left Yankee, transition. Oh no. It's gonna be Hixar, yeah. Hixar. This is not working. See if I can maybe buy us a little bit of time here. So what I need to do is figure out how to do a procedure. Select approach, enter. Or not. Let's wiggle. Yeah, we want uh, Hixar. Load. Yes, yes. And approach Cessna 2 and 5 from Alpha. Yep. Uh, I believe there's some bugs maybe with the Garmin in this Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, could I request the localizer 28 left or still going direct Salinas? Affirmative, that's going to be the issue with your weather engine as well. Uh, stand by just a moment. Two one five Romeo Alpha. Quick so I need you to climb for that one. Uh, can you make six thousand one hundred by Salinas? Affirmative. Two one five Romeo Alpha. All right, two one five Romeo Alpha. Quick Salinas. Cross Salinas is six thousand one hundred. Quick localizer right to a left approach port. Uh, procedure turn inbound. All right, climb uh, six thousand one hundred across Salinas at that altitude and clear the localizer to a left report Procedure turn inbound. Two one five Romeo Alpha. Okay, so one one three decimal nine. Mm 
seven point three is what I need to do. Tech, come it! Seven point three. So we're going to go outbound on a uh, 140 radial. Going up out on a one four zero radial. And we're going out to seventeen point seven DME to Charlie. I wonder if I can select this approach. There it is, it's coming back in. Look to a left, Charlie. Yep, that's the only one. Spokane Approach, hello, uh, Marchetti 138 Kilo Whiskey is a Fox Trot 260, 25 miles northwest of field inbound to land with the information picture. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with GPS. Maybe this one will work. Get the uh, call sign one more time. It's uh, November one three eight kilo whiskey. And one three eight kilo whiskey. Spokane approach. Squawk two four three two. I done. Two four three two. And I didn't. Uh, one three eight kilo whiskey. One three eight kilo whiskey radar contact two six miles northwest Spokane Airport Spokane altimeter three zero three two information Victor's current. All right, we have Victor uh, one three eight kilo whiskey. Yeah, 
it's not working. That's okay. Okay, so we need to be on the uh, 140 radial out to 12.7 DME, and then we're going to be at Charlie. 110.7 is going to be the localizer, so I'm going to go ahead and get that set on two here. Ten point seven, got that set on two, and the course inbound is going to be two seventy eight. So that's set. Make sure I'm identifying the right VLR here. Okay, so I need to have one ten point seven standing by. So in three miles, we'll begin our procedure turn. We're going to turn left to a heading of 278 for an outside, for a parallel entry. And it will be procedure turn inbound, 6,100. Zero nine eight. Yep, will be our heading for the parallel entry. Tower is going to be 118.4. I'll have that standing by here. We're pretty much set up. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to 278. So we're good to go for our inbound lag. So our 12.0 DME. Yakima Tower, Cessna 123 X ray Papa, 10, uh, 13 miles southeast, landing with Zulu. 123 X ray Papa, Yakima Tower, make sure to enter my 27 report 3 mile final. Cessna 123 X ray Yakima Tower, report left base 1 way 27. Negative, make sure to enter my 27 report 3 mile final. Report 3 mile final, Cessna 123 X ray Papa. And 138 Kilo Whiskey, contact Spokane Tower, 118.3. Order Tower, 118.3, uh, 138 Kilo Whiskey. Spokane 
Spokane Tower, hello. Marchetti 138 Kilo Whiskey. Uh, with information. Oh, whiskey. Marchetti 138 Kilo Whiskey, Yakima Tower, NRA right base, runway 21, runway 21, clear to land, one calm. All right, the uh, right base, runway 21, clear to land, 138 Kilo Whiskey. Norco approach, Cessna 215 from the Alpha Procedure turn inbound to Charlie. Thank you. Okay, so there we are at Charlie. Eight, oops, sorry. So we can go down to 5,400 now. Alright, there's a uh, YouTube. We can get down to 4,600 at Rodney now. And Rodney's at 11.5 DME. A little bit to the right, of course. I'm going to take us to the right to correct here. Rodney's at 12 or 11.5, then we can go down to 4,100. Rodney's at 4,100. the final approach. Back 215 Romeo Alpha, contact Monterey Tower, 1184. 184, 215 Romeo Alpha. So now we can go down to 4,100. Monterey Tower, Cessna 215 Romeo Alpha outside Wuxon. That's 215 Romeo Alpha, Monterey Tower, runway 28 left, clear to land, 1003. Clear to land, runway 28 left, Cessna 215 Romeo Alpha. Wuxon's at 10, we're at 10, so we can go down to 3000 now. 100. MDA is uh, 1870. 
3,000 vertical contact and then also in the MD I have 18 or actually it'll be 1900 on the uh, still don't have the runway in sight no one two three x-ray pop a safe position power November one two three x-ray Papa I'm three miles Email Alpha final I one two three x-ray pop runway two seven could land one two five zero four So we got uh, 1,900 now. They're 1, 2, 3, X-ray pop, runway 27, clear to land. Clear to run, runway 27. Can you get a call sign of the readback, please? Clear to land, Cessna 1, 2, 3, X-ray pop. One three kilos. Can you taxi parking via Golf from Industry Frequency? Have a good night. Well, is inside. Taxi parking via Golf from Industry Frequency. Have a good night. We're sure you one three kilos. I'm gonna go ahead and start slowing us back here. All right, autopilot's coming off. Runway is in sight. And we're landing 2 8 left. We have to go miss, climb to 3,000, then a right turn, 5,000 on a 360, back to Salinas. I want to the extra pop tax park and be Alpha, Minister, go see you Number one, two, three, next three, Papa. Thank you. Good night. I want to slow us back just a bit here so we can get down. Well, we've made it to Monterey. It's a good thing. Raise the flaps just so we can
Got to confirm with me Alpha. Text parking via Alpha, Minister. Good night. Text parking. Parking with Alpha, via Alpha with you, Cessna 205 for me, Alpha, good night, thanks for your help. Alright, here we are. And we are in Monterey. Get our uh, strobes off. Taxi landing nav, pedo heat, all of that off. Turn off the uh, transponder. The flaps are up. Avionics masters are off. And we'll go ahead and do the mag check. Engines out. Mixture to idle. Cut off beacons off. Turn off the radio panel lights here. And battery, master, alternator off. Get our trim set back to neutral. Fuel shutoff valves closed and fuel selector valves on the right. Let's go ahead and check the... Let's do the uh, after landing and parking securing check. So flaps are up, landing lights off, taxi lights off, strobes off, elevator trim set to neutral, transponder standby. Parking check, parking brakes set, transponders off, avionics switches are off, engine idle check, magneto check, and mixture idle cut off. Securing ignition off, landing light off, taxi light off, nav lights off, alternator off, battery switch off, fuel sectors on the right. Securing check complete. Welcome to Monterey. So I think on the departure out of here, leg 11 will be heading to Fresno next. Looks like the weather dramatically improved once we got on the ground. Um, I was using a second uh, or a third party add-on for weather generation, but uh, it's a little dramatic <laughs> as you can see. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll try to use the Microsoft Flight Simulator weather getting out of here on the next leg. Maybe we can get a flyover of the Pebble Beach Golf Course on the way out. So thanks for joining me today. BRF Summer signing off. Hope to see you all in the air again soon.